a couple of years ago, I found a video clip of my sister's wedding. I was her maid of honor. While I was watching a video clip, it came to the part to where it was my turn to walk out. Once I watched myself on the video walking down the aisle, I noticed how that I was holding my head down and every so often looking up and just do like a quick smile and then put my head back down. And also I was watching my body movement. My shoulders was kind of like slumped down a little bit. And you could tell that I was unsure about myself. While I was watching myself in the video, I remember thinking to myself how that, hold your head up. You look pretty, you have on a cute outfit, your hair is freshly done. What's wrong with you? It was hard for me to watch myself on video because I didn't like what I saw. Right after I got done looking at that video, I knew that I needed to do something about the way that I felt about myself because I didn't like the way I carried myself. And I also knew too that if I didn't change the way that I felt about myself, that it would stop me from growing and that I would not be able to truly pursue what God wants me to do because I had such low self-esteem. So if you are watching this video and you have low self-confidence, Make sure to continue to watch this video and also stay tuned for my next uploads about how to build your self-confidence. Tip number one, start now. One of the worst things you can do is to make excuses and put it off because when you know that you need to make changes in your life, it's going to be hard and it does take persistence and also patience. And it is kind of scary too, because you don't know how you're going to do it. But I would say one of the worst things you can do is to try to make a huge step because most of the time, if the step is too large for you to make, you're not going to do it. So one of the best things that you can do is start now and make small steps towards your goal. For example, after watching that video clip, I knew that I needed to work on my presence, how the way I react when I walk into a room. I knew that I needed to not hold my head down, but to hold my head up. And I also knew that too, it was important for me to even make sure that I'm walking with my shoulders straight and I'm walking with confidence. And the reason why is because the way that you hike, that is the way that people perceive you to be. So your presence when you walk into a room is very important. So my first step was just working on my presence. I made up in my mind that no longer when I get ready to walk into a room that I'm going to hold my head down. Tip number two, pretend like you are someone that you admire. It may sound silly, but it does work. Do you remember how that when you were a child and you would pretend that you were someone else and you felt like you was that, that person? Well, every so often as an adult, you may need to do that. I start pretending like I was someone else. The person that I admire is Michelle Obama. What I started doing is, I watched her stage presence. I watched the way she hiked when she would walk into a room. How that she has so much confidence. And I wanted to be like that too. So what I started doing is, whenever I will walk into church, or walk through the mall, anywhere in the public, I pretended like I was Michelle Obama. I walked with my head up, with my shoulders back. I took my time and I strutted down the walkway. <laughs> and you guys, even though that's something that may sound silly, but it actually helped me. After doing that a couple of times, 
I stopped holding my head down. I thinking that I was less than whenever I would walk in a room. And another reason why I know that it worked, after I had started doing that for a while, I had a couple of the sisters from the church come to me and they told me that how they, they liked the way I walk, they liked the way that I hold my head up. And I just smiled to myself because I didn't share with them, you know, why I started doing that. But it was a sign to me that I was on the right path. So pretending like you are someone else does work because if you do it long enough, it's just going to become you. Tip number three, exercise. I knew that it was a lot of benefits in exercising, but I just read this the other day. It said that breaking a sweat cools your body to release endorphins to feel good hormones. All I know is that whenever I exercise, I automatically start feeling better about myself. I start feeling positive. And I think it's because too, I know that in the long run, that it's going to cause me to look better. My clothes are going to fall better on me. And how that I was doing something good and it was just for me, just for myself. So exercising has a lot of benefits. And one of the main things is that it does boost your self-esteem. I have a question for you. Out of the three tips, which tip did you like the best? If you like my message and you want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell that way every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I have a Facebook group called Chats with Flow, and it's for Christian women. The purpose of the group is self-improvement. So if you want to improve yourself, join my Facebook group. I would love to help you. Thank you for tuning in, and make sure to stay tuned for the next upload of How to Build Your Self-Confidence.